This is quite a, I like this image because you're basically looking at it from the top of the pelvis. You can see the, so you've got two holes, one is the anus, one is the uh, vagina, and you can see where the, the vagina is at the front. That's the, obviously that's looking at it from the front of the pelvis, and then the spine sits at the top. And it just shows you how many muscles are involved in that pelvic floor. It's a big group of muscles, and we know that these are very important. It acts as a sling to support all the organs in the pelvic region. So that's your uterus, your bladder, your rectum. When breathing in the diaphragm and the pelvic floor should be coordinated. I mean, I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll do an exercise. But in principle, from a concept point of view, when you breathe in, if you're breathing in, if we talk about belly breathing. So as you expand the belly, you provide room for the diaphragm to flatten slightly because it sits up and as you allow you give it the space to flatten it creates space for the lungs to fill and you can't fill the lungs if you if your diaphragm is still sitting up here so you have to give room for the diaphragm to drop and as that drops it'll push the pelvic floor down slightly um, that pressure internal pressure but it's now it's now lowered slightly to allow the, the lungs to fill and then the reverse happens as you exhale so you are creating opportunities to actually get uh, air into the lungs properly because if the diaphragm is still locked up here then your breath is going to be purely a shallow breath